Throughout this video, kids reenact the historic events narrated. Over a collage of purple tinted images from the video, blue text reads Harper's Ferry 1859 to 1861. White text reads 1859. In a brick room, John Brown hands a piece of paper to a man. I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away but with blood. Brown hangs. John Brown was hanged December 2nd, 1859 for treason, murder, and conspiring with slaves. A group of people gather in a shop. After John Brown's hanging, tensions in the town were high. Fearing further attacks, slave owners decided to keep a closer eye on their slaves. No slaves of mine are going to revolt against me. A woman beats a slave. The town started a militia company and they patrolled the streets of Harper's Ferry. Militia walked by a storefront. A group of women watched them pass. White text reads 1860. A store. Who's your husband going to vote for? Lincoln. He's going to win. My husband works at the armory. The boss is making all the workers vote for Douglas or they're going to be laid off. Well, Lincoln's going to win. Well, I mean, he's not even on the ballot in some states. Two men play cards at a pub. You know, Douglas is going to lose. Man, if Lincoln wins this thing, it's going to make a lot of people angry. Our lives depend on it. The 1860 presidential election polling placed in Jefferson County, Virginia. John Bell, Stephen Douglas, Abraham Lincoln, and John Breckenridge were all candidates, but Lincoln wasn't on the ballot here or many other places. A banner reads, Polling Place. Men submit their votes at a counter. White text reads 1861. The town voted Alfred Barber to represent them and vote no for Virginia seceding. I trust you. Yeah. Barber at a bar. When Barber went to vote in Richmond, he went against his word that he gave to the townspeople and voted well, for the Virginia you... secession. What? I thought you were supposed to voice our opinion. You're mad too? I, th I thought I knew what was best. And doing what you were, what was best is doing whatever you want? Three soldiers. Lieutenant Roger Jones was in command at the Union garrison of 42 troops. Jones's job was to protect the federal property at the armory and arsenal. He heard of Virginia's intention to capture Harper's Ferry. He acted quickly. A photograph of Roger Jones. My determination is to destroy what I cannot defend. Next, a series of sketches. Jones ordered his men to spread cakes of gunpowder throughout the armory and arsenal buildings and waited. Less than 24 hours after Virginia's secession, sentries informed Jones that several thousand Virginia militia had arrived on Bolivar Heights, though in reality there was only about 340 men. At about 10 p.m., Jones ordered the powder cakes to be ignited and the buildings went up in flames. A line of townspeople. Many townspeople formed a bucket brigade to help put out the fires because they feared they'd lose their jobs. Although they saved the armory, southern militia soon arrived and took the machines. The Harper's Ferry Armory and Arsenal never reopened. In a house, people packed bags. Many people left Harper's Ferry to escape battles and invasions to capture the useful town. Houses were ruined and the armory was destroyed, leaving people homeless and without jobs. Families broke apart. Before the war, there were about 3,000 people in Harper's Ferry, but the numbers dwindled down so much that by the end of the war, there was only about 20 families left. As people walk down a sidewalk, they fade away. Scrolling blue text on a black background reads, Director Adele Fishman, Video Editors Claire Affinito, Adele Fishman, Emily Matlock, Michaela Weiler, Videographers Jeremiah Brown, Liam Havard, Alex Wiemet. Music and song editors, Adele Fishman, Emily Matlock, Angel McDaniel, Alex Wiemet. Storyboard artist, Angel McDaniel. Screenwriters, Claire Affinito, Zach Weiberg. Actors, Claire Affinito, AJ Biller, Jeremiah Brown, Adele Fishman, Melissa Grant, Tiffany Hartman, Cheyenne James, Emily Matlock, Alex Wiemet, Michaela Weller, Zach Weiberg. Voiceovers, Claire Affinito, Adele Fishman, Emily Matlock, Austin Peck, Zach Weiberg. Costumers, Melissa Grant, Emily Matlock. A special thanks to Harpers Ferry National Historical Park. Mr. Spurgis, thanks a billion. White text on a black background reads, Special thanks to Journey Through Hallowed Ground Partnership, www.hallowedground.org, the National Endowment for the Humanities, the Rust Family Foundation.